revolution will not be televised, not be televised. There'll be no rerun, brothers and sisters. The revolution will be live. Um, Exile Tay, representing Exile Media, shout out to the whole squad. Man. Damn. Favorite battle of all time. That that's that's crazy. Honestly, my favorite, alright. One of my favorites, which is a super sleeper would be Steams vs. XO. That shit, probably not my favorite of all time, definitely up there. Steams vs. XO was crazy. I'm not gonna say the generic answer, fucking Conceited vs. Arsenal, Chasey vs. Chilla. I think that that is very, um, un very severely underviewed. That's how I feel. Um, yeah, that, that, battle was, that battle was crazy. That shit was crazy. My favorite battler is QP. Not clean. Clean is up there, but quantum physics QP. He just has so many. My favorite part of all time. Alright, QP uh, versus Chilla. Oh man. He said, oh, yeah, I, I don't even want to butcher the bar. But oh no, 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 QP versus Bonnie. He said, um, Let's go to Warden since I always watched over your pen. I forgot about the, the setup, but when I heard that, I threw everything, everything in the garbage. I don't even rap, I just threw everything I had in the garbage, everything in the dumpster. Just QP is just a different dude, yo. He's very, he's underappreciated. I think that's probably why I fuck with him so much, because a lot of, not a lot of people fuck with him. But that bar was, oh my gosh. And that wasn't even his hardest bar, but that was one of my favorites of all time. So tr transitioning from mute, like just listening to regular music to battle rap, I think the easiest would probably be dumbfounded versus conceited. I think that'll be that'll give you an idea. Cause it's serious and it's jokey, so it's not. They're, they're not. Neither of them are taking themselves too seriously. So I think you'll you'll be able to catch. You don't really have to listen for much. But it's also just a great battle in general. Um, another battle. Disaster versus DNA. I forgot how hard that shit was. Uh, yeah, Disaster vs. DNA was crazy. Also, you know, easy to catch lines mixed with some multis that take a little while to think. You'll probably get shit the next day. Honestly, the third battle. I'm trying to think of one. Pat Stay versus um. Marv One. That's one of my favorite battles of all time too, because you could you get you get. I think that's the perfect segue into how serious shit could get when Pat stays talk going off on Marv One about his his brother and shit. That just shows like damn, you have no idea. You feel the tension through the camera. I think that's a that's a great third one, a great closer. I think I, I think that's perfect order actually, the perfect order of getting people to watch, you know, just transition into battle rap. Originality, creativity. No, cr the creativity is there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna downplay them. the originality. So people sound like they're themselves. The PGs. People make fun of the PGs. All right. People make fun of the PGs because they all sound the same. They use the think bar and like think like think this and this. I'll do that. Like it's just that shit is way too common. So you gotta. The last original person I heard was probably Jack Boy. Jack Boy's super, super original. I think that's why people fuck with him. But yeah, that's why I feel. We do check out, we do get a lot of, of submissions, just like, you know, DMs, like, yo, check out my battle. We don't watch all of them, but one person in the team has to co-sign it. 
like, yo, I think y'all should fuck with, y'all should try, like, check this out. So that's pretty much how we go about it. It's mostly word of mouth. We usually don't, a lot of us don't really just come across battles because we don't really click on everything, at least me personally. But how I do it, personally, I go to, I try to go to come to these PGs, and if one person, if people stand out, then I go and, you know, research their name. I do my homework a little bit. So that's that's why I like coming to these because they don't you don't get a PG for no reason. You you got here for something. So when I do my homework, one person I just got put on recently was Kid Death. He battled um, my boy Super Black last PG, and I'm just like I don't I'm there for Super Black, but left a fan of Kid Death too. Kid Death is fire. He's battling today. I can't wait. This is gonna be fire. Oh man, like you like you already know who it is. I don't know you. Don't, just, you gotta be humble in the beginning. I understand you're supposed to have confidence and all that, but if I really don't know you, don't act like I'm supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And I'm me, I'm nobody, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, people just don't, yeah, don't act like we're supposed to know you already. Like, do something, do something first. That's how I feel. That, that's probably the most annoying. And don't spam me. Don't tag me and everything. No, just yo. I just we just had a classic. Classic is very overused. Stop saying classic. You don't say get to say it's a classic. We get to not we as an exile, but fans get to call what's a classic. That gotta be the consensus. Everybody, everybody that battles, just cause you battle and y'all become cool after, doesn't mean y'all had a classic. I see too many interviews like that. That's that's my thoughts. I got one. Um, one. Take advantage of your following early. A great example is Mike P. He he doesn't just he does battle rap, but he also makes jokes and he does like little skits online. So he makes himself very personable when you end up seeing him in person. So that's what drawn me to Mike P in the first place. So you definitely gotta take advantage of that. You can't just be online when your battle's about to drop or just fucking. Spam motherfuckers with your shit. Yo, check me out, bro. I just, you know, I just dropped this battle on wherever the fuck battle lead. You gotta be, you gotta just talk to people like they're human first, and then they'll once they once they get attached to that, then you could just put whatever you want out, and they'll follow you. So that's one. Um, another. I hate the think like bars. I don't know if that's a thing. But <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Think this. You're sounding like everybody else. You gotta be original. I'm, every, everybody has influences. But you can't hear too much of one person. You gotta mix, you gotta be you. That's how I feel. That draws people to you. Um another advice. Damn. Yeah, just try being original, yo. Just, I don't know, these crews, man, st fuck with people you actually fuck with that you actually know in real life. Sometimes I feel like these crews are like business moves. So just fuck with your day ones. Obviously, you're going to meet people later on, but definitely fuck with your day ones first. And um, don't oversaturate yourself. By that, I mean... Take the battles that make sense. Don't just battle everybody. Coming up, I, I understand you do have to in the beginning. But once you get a little bit of a following, don't just don't just put yourself out there just because just for the money. Personally, I feel like some people it does work for. It doesn't work for most of you. Dre Dennis and DNA and DNA are good examples, and Danny Myers too. I don't really like Danny like that, but I respect it. You just can't, yeah right. You just can't you can't do that if you. It's gonna be like, oh, this nigga again, and they don't even fuck with you already. So it's like you just put yourself out there more, and you doing that, you prob, you need people. People need to crave you, pause. Like people need to want to see you. They see you everywhere. They're not. They're get used to you, and that doesn't help. See, like people like um, like twerk. You don't see him everywhere. You see him maybe once on his home league, or once on URL. People, you give people time to miss you. Absence makes the heart grow fun. One more. One more. I think I'd be nice. 
on, I'm not a battle rapper. I just fuck with it. Um, I don't know, build, network, networking, build, um, relationships, not even, you know, the smallest person, don't just big up people that are already up there, fuck with the little guy, so when you, when your fan base grows with you, so everybody sees you, like, yo, they don't really know you, don't be like, oh, yeah, fuck that, don't fucking just block everybody online, just, you know, take the criticism, take the hate with the love. I think that that helps. Um, yeah, yeah, because you know, people fuck with you at your big events that fuck with you at your smaller events. So when you build early, that's why they like come into PGs because you get you get to know people early before they actually pop. So I think that that's networking is is will probably be number one for me personally. Um, you know, shout out to Thesis, shout out to Whole High Society, shout out to World Report, um, XL Media, at XL Media and everything. Um, subscribe to our YouTube, uh, subscribe to me, um, not subscribe, but fucking follow me, Photos by Toe. Um, shout out the whole team, John, Justin, Kron, Keys, Chris, Irv, Old Ass, Za. Um, yeah, shout out the whole team, man. Thank y'all for having me, appreciate it.